COVID-19 has dramatically affected how the band has been this year. Let us take a look at how things have been impacted. Earlier this year, Mr. Loy attempted to have band camp, but it was different from previous years. Instead of a full parade season, like the Trojan Band was hoping for, they were only able to perform one show, and that was the field show here in Worthington. Some of the biggest changes this year for the band has been the mask coverings for all the instruments, as well as the social distancing in place during band. Mr. Lloyd, the band director for the WHS band, talks about the precautions that are taken to ensure the Trojan Band can have a concert this year. And we have bell covers, you know, um, we have the masks, we have all of the, all of the protocols in place. Uh, when we were at 50% or even 25%, you know, where we were three feet apart or six feet apart. Now that we're all together, uh, we have more protocols in place in the band room, but because of that, we can be a little closer um, and yet um, be safe. Juan Guizar, a senior and commander for the WHS band, explains a few things that could have gone better this year. Band could have been better in some things with coordination, but at the end of the day, they did the best they could with what they had with so many people, and I'm glad we got to do it in the first place. Carissa Bickett, a sophomore who plays the French horn, describes what she thought was difficult during our 25% and 50% attendance. Learning the music, it's pretty hard to learn the music when it's like just me by myself without the rest of the band. This year, band has certainly been challenging and difficult from other years. Let's hope that the Trojan Band can perform and excel at the upcoming concert on April 16th. This has been Stephen for Trojan News.